Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. And a lot of people keep talking about the lasers that are fired at the moon called lunar ranging. Um, supposedly the Apollo astronauts, I think on three missions maybe, don't quote me on that, left reflectors behind, we are told. And I'd kind of like to address that. Um, some years ago, I was present at one of these lunar ranging things where they shoot the green laser and what I saw was this you see this very bright laser go off towards the moon and I think it's about two or two and a half seconds later a computer beeps and says yep you did it and I remember at the time standing there thinking really that that's the whole thing huh and as I thought about it later I began to realize that there's really no way for a human being to verify what had just happened and by the way, you're looking at kind of a little schematic-y picture here of one of the, I believe, three that were supposedly put up there. And I believe the Russians supposedly uh, put some of these things up with uh, robots, we are told. Um, at any rate, I, when I was looking into this, um, the more I read about it, the more skeptical I became. First of all, you've got to realize we're being told that a laser is being shot nearly a quarter of a million miles hitting something roughly this size. I mean, what are we looking at? Less than a square meter here? Um, this is one of the, the three. I don't know which one. I think it's Apollo 11, this one. Um, when you consider what you're being told, what you have to kind of do is decide. Are you going to trust what you're being told from some source? Or are you logically going to challenge it and think about what you're being told? First off, as you can see in this image, we're told there's dust all over the moon. And at the time, the, the astronauts were there. They talked about micrometeors and all these other dangers. But, I mean, how long have these things been sitting here? What is it, 50-plus years or something um, that they've been sitting up there? And even if they were there, wouldn't they just be fried by the sun and covered with dust? And, you know, who knows? You've got to consider these things. But when you really begin to think about what you're being told, and then you look up what they are presenting with you as what is actually happening, what they are claiming is that they are taking a laser, shooting it nearly quarter of a million miles. It is slightly diffracted through our atmosphere, so aiming at anything the size of the thing we just looked at, I mean, it starts to boggle the mind. But of the billions or trillions or gazillions of photons that leave with that laser we are told and there are differing sources that they collect one photon on the return and by the way they know that one photon that they collect is the correct photon because it is so monochromatic um, and again a computer beeps there is absolutely no way for a human being ever to verify this and it harkened back to when I saw the kind of Mythbusters thing when they went out and shilled. I think they actually said three or more photons come back. But uh, watching that episode way back then, uh, it just, if you weren't skeptical before you saw that, um, I don't know what it would take to make someone skeptical. But if you consider shooting a laser a quarter of a million miles, now there are people around right now doing laser tests, searching for curvature of Earth and other things. And while I haven't really kept on, up on it to, to any degree, I believe someone acquired a, uh, I hope I don't get this wrong, maybe a 50-mile laser. And they shot it just a few miles and found that the laser had widened out to, you know, 6, 10, or 12 feet, I don't know what. But it had widened out so much that even that powerful laser they had bought uh, became a problem to complete the test. I'm not saying that certainly with enough money you could probably buy a good laser but when we consider shooting a laser a quarter of a million miles that gets diffracted through the atmosphere that they manage to locate this thing that's been sitting there for 50 years um, that still works just fine no dust on it or anything and then collect a single photon coming back I think you kinda have to question how feasible that is and to top it off there are actually documented scientific cases where scientists are claiming they bounced a laser simply off the moon with no reflector at all, but the reflectors give you a better view, uh, a more precise view of what they're after. So I would just point out that if anyone is really into this laser thing, go, go find out what observatory is and doing it and go check it out. And then critically think about what you're being presented with. But anyhow, there it is. Cheers.